Hello, this is Ariella Carmel, and I'm at Unistream's annual competition for youth entrepreneurship in Tel Aviv. I'm joined by Yuval Paso, the head of Google for Startups. Thank you for joining me, Yuval. Great, great to be here. Thank you for having me. My pleasure. So can you tell me a little bit about the competition? Are you enjoying it thus far? Yeah, actually, I just uh, spending here, I think the last 40 minutes, uh, seeing great startup, mostly from, from the South. And it's amazing to see, you know, how much they did in a very short time. Um, I saw some startup from East Jerusalem, from Rahat, from Beersheba, from Elat. And I think that, you know, usually that we are based in Tel Aviv, we don't have this opportunity to see what's, what's, what's coming out of different areas. And, and I really challenge them in terms of, you know, the business model and what, what they plan and how they're going to scale it. And I think that they were uh, doing that in, in an amazing way and very passionate. And what's also amazing that they really love this experience. So um, very happy to see this important project. Oh, it's an incredible experience. Now, can you tell me a little bit about your mission at Google for Startups? and the kind of things that you're uh, encouraging and that are of great importance to you. Yeah, sure. So, so I think that for us in, in Google for Startup, we're really about leveling the, the playing field for startups, around, startup founders around the world. And it's mean that it doesn't matter if you come from the north, from the south, if you're Jewish, Muslim, Christian, um, and, and really what's important that you really want to start your, your first startup and we will give you the best practices, technology, mentors of Google, and make sure that everyone start from, from the same place. And I think that this is why we are uh, so happy to be a sponsor, to be part of that, and to support this important project, uh, because you know, this is an example, uh, in just in an earlier age, of, of you know, how amazing things can happen, and not just coming from Tel Aviv, which, which is mostly what happened in these days. Right, definitely. Now, can you speak a bit to the importance of diversity and inclusion within the field of entrepreneurship, especially among youth? So, as I told you, diversity is super important. We're already doing that with founders that are 30 plus. Um, but now, I don't think that it's, it's, there is a certain time that uh, a person becomes an entrepreneur. So, I see here definitely with all the different uh, founders that I met that they are doing amazing work. And this is, you know, early that we need to start. And we see that, you know, why it's so important to, to have a diverse group of founders because each group coming with, you know, different ideas and different challenges and come up with different solutions that when you create it all together, you're creating like the new ecosystem. And this is what really helped them, you know, grow, grow and not just the one that are from, you know, 8.1 and 8.200 that they would probably go to cybersecurity or will go to DevOps. So here they will maybe think about sustainability or think about um, you know uh, uh, digital health uh, we have a few ideas of a few startups that are, are already now part of Google for startup one is doing femtech a woman that for her it was super challenging to get through uh, the process of, of you know getting pregnant and and all the the IVF and so on so she actually uh, did a, a platform in AI that support that a startup called Ampi. And it came from a woman that it's something that was, you know, painful for her. And at the same time, we have Hassan that developed a, an AI platform uh, for specifically for the Arab society to help them donate to the to the right organization. So again, it's two things, but it's really coming from specific background that otherwise will not uh, be built. And you can see also here, you know, I met a, a group of founders from East Jerusalem. Uh, women founders. I call them founders because they are, you know, they did the whole process from the idea to the go-to-market, and and I saw their passion about, you know, developing an app that will um, prevent harassment uh, from from women in East Jerusalem. And when I asked them, how did you come up with this idea? And she told me, because it happened to us. And and again, this young guy from Tel Aviv would have great idea, but he would never think about this problem, this challenge. And this solution. So I think that if I end that in in supporting entrepreneurs with different backgrounds, we're really strengthening the ecosystem, and we're really making the next startup and the next big, you know, unicorns and so on. That so important in this, you know, challenging times. Now, before we sign off, um, you're a judge, I, I gather, yeah. in today's competition. 
Do you know who you're going to be casting your ballot for? So, so I think that I have, um, I have two startups. One is a startup that I told you from East Jerusalem. I feel like it's a very quick uh, and easy way to implement that and to create, to create and go to market and and to have value very quickly. I think that the other one was InView. I think that the name that they help people uploading their video and uh, having AI to analyze that and very quickly, very quickly give you feedback on how you're being interviewed. Um, so again, it's for for students that are going to finish their you know uh, university, going to their first job. Everyone know what are the usual you know mistakes. So this you know app will give you kind of like the the three things that you need to change in order to better pass the interview. Something we could incorporate perhaps yes, as well. Yes, definitely. <laughs> Okay, well, thank you so much for thank taking you. the time and uh, enjoy the competition. Thank you very much. Thank you.